Kyle Hendricks. You got John Lester. Understood. Hood, little bouncer, Turner's throw, safe at first. Alan Porter with the call. Hood will head back to first. It's going to be a single, but it also will be looked at on video. I mean, immediately, Clint Robinson. Now he could hear a bang bang. He obviously is somebody going on the, the bag with his foot. Couldn't tell from that one. Oh, really? And neither of those looks or replays give us definitive evidence to overturn. Super slow mo from next door. That's the official title of this. Foot on the bag, back of glove. I think he beat it. And no. Oh. Yeah, you can see the foot come down on the other side. At the end of that replay. Hey, you know, the interesting thing is this, Al. Pat Shine, who's been in the, yep. the Marlins uh, video room, or any anyone who is the video coach for any team, that's the same sequence we went through, they go through. They look at initial looks. When that super slow-mo becomes available, they'll look at that. And it wasn't until the end of that super slow-mo that you saw Hood's foot still coming down on the bag after it looked like the ball went into the back of the glove. I think they're going to overturn this. Crowd watching the uh, reviews up on the scoreboard. Umpires are as well. Yeah, you're looking at the heel, right? You know the toe's not on, but yeah, the, the heel heel's on, though, isn't it? Wow. That's really close. Just that one shot, the super slow mo, kind of seemed like, but then again, you couldn't see the heel portion of it. Was last year the first time you heard the um, the term back of the glove? Yeah. You know, I mean, when it, when replay first came in, all of a sudden we were all aware, hey, for a, for a ball to be securely in the glove, it's when it hits the back, back of, the of the glove. Yes, yes. I'd never heard that term in baseball until replay came in. It's safe. Wasn't enough. No, it wasn't enough. I think that's here. The heel may have had contact. Call stands. 